Hello, everybody! Welcome to another boozy plays through drunk ZNC thing. I don't know. I say a lot of different things for different episodes. I forget. I'm the Booze Wolf, also known as Zach Gray. Um, I'm actually at the point now that I'm probably more Booze Wolf than Zach Gray ever I was. And we are playing Nepenthe, or Nepenthe. I'm going to just keep saying Nepenthe for now because I keep trying to say both and it's just silly. Um, welcome to another episode. Cheers. I don't think I've done that yet. And we've just received some really interesting premonition chants from a crazy man in this little ruin. We got a rope to get a grandma out of that ruin. And we also got some crazy premonition note that was inside of a chimney of all these ruins. I feel like I got something else too. I got a teddy bear. That's right. So we're playing through. This game is a lot like, uh... To me, it kind of feels like a creepier version of Undertale. The combat system is very similar. Uh, I like the low-tech animation. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the low-tech animation, but I, I don't care for how creepy some of the people are. It's kind of adorably done and drawn. But what's this? There's a small hole in the wall. You can't fit inside. Okay. Sorry, I'm losing my announcer voice. You can't fit inside. The path leads... The path this leads to is not your story. Oh, you hear a strange noise coming inside the cute room. I shouldn't have come here. Let us leave this place. Why won't you run? Why are you a bitch? I don't remember if I saved. You leave this cute tiny room alone. Thank you. I'm saving because that should have been the way I died. I don't think I've done anything wrong yet, but I will save Vile for Yay! So happy. Wait, MP? Do I know spells? Didn't even notice the MP bar before. All right, sign. What have you got to say? You're now exiting the ruins. Thank you. What's this? It's a crater-like depression in the ground. Truly a sad sight. Would you stop making that depression joke? It's a tiny mountain range. Looking at it, you feel like a... Prince. Sorry, I read that entirely wrong the first time. I thought it said perv. That's a sign, but I really want that to be a pickaxe. Can I get through this larger hole? There's a small hole in the wall. You can't fit inside. Can I leap this hole? There's a wall that's broken here. Can I go through it? Nope. No, we need a pickaxe later, so wall is broken here. All right. I feel like that is definitely a enterable hole. Small hole in the wall you can't fit inside. Maybe I get like a drink me Alice in Wonderland style shrinking potion at some point. It's a large rock. <coughs> this rocks. This is a group of trees in the shape of an X. This will have no bearing on the story at all. What was that last bit? I'm sorry. This is someone else's story. So weird. For some reason, that's the most unnerving thing to hear. This is someone else's story. Like, I'm crossing timelines. I went to this old lady's house. Hello? Beware of werewolf. Do not feed the werewolf. I want to hug it. Closed due to werewolf. Closed due to werewolf. That must be where the werewolf is. Closed due to werewolf. Well, it seems to be broken open, probably due to werewolf. Who needs a hug? Oh, that can't be good. It's a dusty skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons full of bite marks. Ah, he noms on the bones. Behind you, fuck you. No. Small rocks in the corner. No. The walls are cold. Hi, friend. Could you move? Hi. So lovely little town, isn't it? It's a shame we've got a werewolf running loose around here. Watch out for suspicious fellows. Oops. Seems it's too late for that. Why you gotta be a dick? Freddy emer- Oh my god, really? You can run, but you can't hide, bitch. I think I fancy a lunch. The moon rises. We are indoors with no windows. Which is weird as it's the middle of the day. Freddy sheds his outer layer. Relax. 
Sinew tastes better when relaxed. All right. This is how I die. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, what else am I going to do? Freddy is a changed man. Well, th there's nothing there. Wolf attack. Oh. Oh, fuck. Nope. All right. The things didn't show up again. I don't know why that was. I think I got this. All right. Oh, that was bad. That was better than last time, though. Oh, at least I can see now. Nope, 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 rope, nope, rope, nope, rope, nope, nope, rope, nope, 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 rope, nope, 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 nope. Grr. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up. Just very slowly, apparently. Which is fine as long as I don't get fucked up. All right, those were all in a pattern. Yeah. This is the derpiest werewolf fight ever. Freddy is howling mad. Oh, and then I got fined for 350 fucking dollars. Uh, Zed X, you can tell I've been playing a lot of games of Weekend Wolf when I call it Zed. Werewolf attacks. Yep, 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 yep. But I don't like this one. Freddy is furious. This was made by a goddamn furry, wasn't it, Weekend? If I hadn't mentioned this episode, Weekend is the one who told me about this game. He didn't recommend it necessarily, but he told me about it. And now I have a feeling he knows a creator. Critical! Really? That's all? I was like, right. I fucking center pointed that. You gotta go. Gotta move as a werewolf, you kind of suck. Freddy's having a bad hair. Oh, okay, that's enough. Oh! There's got it. Now, now I'm in the whole $700. Freddy, what the fuck are you doing to me? I don't have any money. Uh-oh. Freddy grins wolfishly. I don't like that. Ha! Punch! Oh, God, it's faster. But they're still predictable. Just gonna be chilling, Freddy. Don't you worry. All right. Werewolf. He's getting desperate. Yeah. Uh, that's probably not 50. Yes! Murder the werewolf with my bare hands! They're actually people hands, but still, motherfucker! I saved a town. I have rid it of its demons. Fire water found. I'm now level three. You learned what kindness. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted to learn true kindness, just murder a werewolf with your bare hands. That's obviously <laughs> a way to do it. Uh, hell yeah. Oh, it lets you save it for a battle. That's nice. Hmm. 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 Is there anything else that's new here now that I murdered the werewolf? Nope. Just stuffs. Oh, God! Hey, I heard there's a werewolf problem. I guess not. Hey, everyone, the werewolf is dead! I remembered your voice, motherfucker. Saya? <laughs> okay. I, I, I saved and resurrected the town, motherfucker. What you do, what you know? Blurple Nurple's got this. Yo, dude, what's up? Uh, where did you come from? Didn't you hear? Now the werewolf's gone, we can all come out of hiding. Thing is, there isn't much to do here. It gets really boring in these small towns really fast. Wish we had a werewolf or something. Say, you wouldn't want to talk for a while, would you? No. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, talk. I would love to. So what do you want to talk about? Oh my god. This is how every single direct message I've ever received on Twitter goes. <laughs> Not every single one. A lot of people when you get to know them. But you all know that. Hi. Hi. What's up? Not much. Want to talk. Let's talk about these fucking... Your awesome hair. You know what? I'll start with that compliment. Because your hair is actually really stupid. Fuck that. I, I, re I redact my compliment. What are all these monsters? Well, that's the problem. We call them monsters. Just c like... Because um, they aren't human. They aren't... Well, uh... Human. Very insightful. 
It's why I'm in this town, actually. I just wanted to get away from all that hatred towards non-humans out there. Oh, God, is my character a racist? Are we racists? It's tough being different, you know? We are racists. Yeah, I'm not exactly human either, if you haven't noticed. I know what some think of our kind. Us monsters, right? Yeah. I'm I'm in a rock. Blurple Nurple is, as far as I'm concerned, a monster. Just, if nothing else, internally. With those deadpan fucking eyes. I know what some think of our kind. It ain't good, but, well, that's life. Anyway, best of luck. It's a tough world out there, friend. Just look out for all the little guys out there. You hue? I think it said you know, but... Check it out. The door's ajar. No, wait, it's still a door. <sighs> Game, I'm really liking you. Please don't. Mm. Fucking dad jokes. I love dad jokes usually, but now and again. Mm. Yes, go inside. Pigman! Hello! Ah! I'm so agitated. I can't figure out the ending to my letter. Who is my letter to? I can't figure that out either. Oh, fried ham. It is a pig. Oh, God. I'm really bad at this. Say, can you help me write my letter? Also, I'll fight you with my axe if you don't. On the one hand, help pig demon with a letter. Be nice to the town. On the other hand, murder pig demon, possibly, and get an axe. Sure, I'll help you. Okay, then. This is what I've done so far. Dear. What do you think? Needs a bit of work. I knew it! I should have written, oh, my love, instead. So what's next? Are you are my butterfly, my lasagna. How are you? Wow! Such beautiful words have never been spoken. <laughs> what's next? Do you like bacon? Because I'll give you the hot sizzling... No, sorry. Um, my life is a mess. I mean, you're not wrong. So is mine. Call it. Oh. Um, okay, what next? <laughs> Live long and prosper. Will that get me demonetized if I do the fucking salute? Uh... I don't think I've even seen a full episode of Star Trek. Sincerely, your name here. Uh, why not put my name there? After all, it's my letter. Okay, if you insist. And what is your name? Pork Chops. What? We have the same name? How cool is that? Anyway, thank you for all your help. As thanks, I want to give you something. A baked potato. <laughs> it's great for throwing at unsuspecting enemies. Or eating. Whatever. Anyway, here you go. I got a baked potato. Thanks for everything. See you around. Huh. Can I just jack that? It's a pickaxe. Seal it? No. I mean, yes, but if he walks off screen, you know what? Giggity, giggity, giggity gank. You take the pickaxe. Hey! Do you just take my pickaxe? That thing's valuable, okay? I fucked up. Pork chops emerge. Prepare for combat. Uh oh. Depending on how hot you are. The an oxymoron if ever I heard one. Interesting. Twenty Will either do a two hundred attack to your enemy, give two hundred attack to your enemies, or add twenty HP to yours. What? No, I don't want to heal myself. I want to hit the motherfucker. All right. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, God. The first one is always so broken. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, God, it's going right for me. Oh, God, those axes hurt a lot. I don't see me. I'm going to die. Yup. <laughs> so that is a problem with the game I'm noticing. And I'm glad I saved. Cool. Well, this doesn't... This might do it for me. Should not have stolen that axe. and knew it. But, yeah, that's a creator if you see this somehow. 
it's a uh, the last save file is basically around the same time you really gotta fix that i don't know if that's like i miss every time and just is angry at me or what but that's really annoying Anyway, it's been about the same amount of time as the other episodes, so I will see you guys in a future episode. If you like this, let me know. I might play some more of it anyway, because I'm kind of enjoying it. Like, I wouldn't normally have stolen it, except I was sort of playing it like a Bethesda game, where, you know, if you get the chance someone's not looking, you take everything. Everything! I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. And weekend, if you're watching this, it's a cool little game. Kind of like it. Maybe you should... Give it a play through yourself. I'd love to see how you play differently and what decisions you make. Maybe you'd go investigate that that town or the secret lair I passed up. So, cheers. Everyone have a good night. Have a lovely evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is. Have yourself a drink when you have the time. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.